All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? So today's video is going to be on Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018. Uh, this may work in some of the other versions as well. I'm not 100% sure. But for me, I use Elements to create some of my YouTube thumbnails, uh, do some little picture art and stuff as far as that goes. But the biggest thing for me is doing the thumbnails. Now, in doing the thumbnails for my YouTube videos, I like to throw text on there to make them a little more appealing and more eye-catching. But I had trouble with trying to find shadows and outlines, things of that nature, to really enhance my text to make it stand out from others. Well, after some digging, I finally figured out how to do this, and I'm going to share it with you. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a new blank canvas. I've done this one 1920 by 1080 so it fits my YouTube thumbnails. And once we pull this up, it's just a white screen. We're going to go over hit our text tool. Open this up. And we'll just go in here and type how to. So you can see right now the color of the letters are blue. And that's fine with me. I don't really care about the color right now. So we're going to go with blue. And when you look down here in the palette where all the tool selections are, there's nothing down here about drop shadows. There's really not anything telling you what effects you can do with the text. But if you happen to click on this style picker and then click on this drop down menu, you get a whole gamut of different things that you can add to it. You can do inner glows, you can do outer glows for that halo around it. Um, you can come up and do drop shadows. And this is the part that I'm gonna emphasize the most. When I do drop shadows, I'll add this first one and it gives me this black shadow around my letters. And that's okay. However, that's pretty much normal. And for me, I want to be a little bit different when I do my thumbnails. I want to be able to change that color. So I come back down here, and the only color option I've got is this color picker here. So we'll go to it, and, well, all it does is change the color of the letters. If I click on this box here, I don't get anything but the same option styles. So it took some digging around and I finally figured out that if you come over here to the layers palette where this FX is beside this text layer, we'll select our text layer and then we will double click on the FX. Once we do that, it pulls up our complete control panel for our shadow. The first thing you're gonna see is lighting angle. This is gonna let you set the angle, whether it's above, below, to the left, to the right, however you wanna set that shadow. You're going to have a size, a distance, and opacity. Now, the size in this particular shadow is going to make it disappear almost as you go up, or you can bring it down and make it really defined. Now, we'll leave it just about like it was, and then we can set our distance of how close we want it or how far away. You can set it right up under the letters, or you can do a little offset. There again, you got a few options there. And then opacity. Well, we can make it dark or we can make it disappear and almost be just like a hologram in the back. But now comes the best part. This little black box right here. We're just going to click on it. And it pulls up our color picker. Hit the red. Hit OK. And there you go, guys. That's how you change the shadow color in Adobe Elements. Now I'm sure this works different in Photoshop and it may work different in other versions of Photoshop Elements, but this one's Elements 2018. Uh, I think there may be one more edition that has come out after this one, but this one has all the features that I need, so I'm gonna stick with it. And I'm still learning as I go because I haven't fully utilized it. But there it is, guys. I hope this helps you out. I uh, really appreciate y'all tuning in and watching our videos. Uh, we enjoy it when uh, we get feedback, either thumbs up, thumbs down, or comments or questions. So drop those down below. And if you haven't already, be sure and hit that subscribe button because we will be coming to you with more.